Okay, in this video, we're going to look at graphing when you put something in a bracket, when you put a number in the bracket. It's like minus p squared. Okay, this is the general form. So they're called horizontal translations. Okay, the joke of the day. So we've been doing a lot of stretches here. So just like this little dog, stretch. It's good for you. Okay, graphing y equals ax minus p squared. Okay, we're going to add or subtract a number in the bracket. Okay, this causes the graph to move left or right. And it's deceptive. It, it's not what you think. It does the opposite of what you think it should do. Okay, so that's why the minus is in there. So this makes the positive go right because it's a minus and the negative go left. But I will do some examples and you'll see what I'm talking about later. The vertex in this case will be located at P. So it's going to be located on the X axis. The sign will switch in the brackets. It's kind of weird. The sign switches in the brackets. So look at this example. Example, y equals 2 x minus 4 squared. Now, the, you'd think the vertex would be at minus 4 with the x, but it's the opposite. Vertex will be located at 4, at a positive 4 on the x-axis. Okay, let's look at this example. y equals negative x plus 2 squared minus 5. Don't worry, don't worry about this minus 5 at the end. I'll actually erase it here. If it's, I'll make sure it's not on your note before I give it to you. So just look, don't worry about the number or the negative in the front. Just look at the two. This two in here is a positive two. The vertex will be located at negative two. So here, the negative four, the vertex located at four. It switches a sign. At the positive two, the vertex will be located at the negative two. Okay, you will still use A to graph. A still defines a shape. Well, here the A is the 2, and here the A is negative or negative 1. Okay. Okay, we're going to look at transformations. Y equals AX minus P. We're going to look how the minus P affects it in the end part. Okay, let's look at the first possible. There are two possible transformations. Let's look at the first one. When P is positive, but the term is negative in the bracket, there's a horizontal translation P right. So, y equals x minus 3. The minus 3, when it's negative, it goes to the right. There's a horizontal translation 3 right. So let's look at my right here. I'll draw an arrow. So it goes this way. It'll go to the right. 3 right when it's negative 3. When the p is, when the p is negative, but the term is positive inside the bracket, there's a horizontal translation left. So when it's plus 4, Five here there's a horizontal translation so the translation this way to the left so this works a bit opposite of the other one so minus three goes to the right and positive goes to the left and I guess they purposely put that P negative up here so later if you get the coordinates it'll be the right sign so again minus and a, and a number right plus and a number left best way to do this I'll do this one example and I'll stop the video again so we've got y equals x minus 2 squared there's nothing in the front of the bracket so what we use for our step pattern so a is 1 here so we don't have anything for a a is actually in this case 1 so our step pattern is 1 3 5 this is our starting point negative 2 now we don't actually start at negative 2 Okay, we actually start at positive 2 this time on the x-axis. We're going to start at positive 2 on x-axis. We start opposite. Okay, what we do is we start opposite of what's in there. So let's take a look. So it's a little different than the other one. Okay, our starting point is right here this time. So it's right there. It's at 2. Even though it's negative 2 here, we actually start at the opposite of that. We start at positive 2. gets moved to the right. Our step value is 1, 3, 5. So when we graph, we go always over 1, up 1. Always over 1, up 1, 2, 3. Always over 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we do the same on the other side. Over 1, up 1. Over 1, up 3. Now these are symmetric points. Over 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we go over here. And then we draw our graph here. And I'll do my best job to go through all these points. 
Okay, I'll label it at the end too. So I'll draw it. It's supposed to be more curved here. And my two arrows. And I'll label it as y equals, okay, and it's bracket x minus 2 squared. Now, our axis of symmetry actually changes. So I'm going to draw the axis of symmetry here. The axis of symmetry is right down here. So it's at x equal to negative 2. So if you take a look at the subtract uh, at the 2, positive 2, the symmetric points. So the points across this point is across from that. They're equal distance from this axis of symmetry. 1, 2 this way, 1, 2 that way. And then 3 this way, 3 this way. So this is where our new axis of symmetry is. So this is known as the axis of symmetry, x equals 2. I want you to also add that to the graphs. Okay, let's go to our to GeoGebra. We've been going there quite a few times now. Let's type this in here. Okay, I'm going to type it right here to see how it looks. y equals bracket x minus 2. And at the end of the bracket, see so we can add our squared. Okay, so we can, so we just added the squared, we put a bracket. Let's see what it looks like. See, even though it's negative here, it goes two to the right. So there, one, two to the right. And then from there you go over one, that's our vertex, over one, up one, over one, one, two, three, over one, up five. So it gets moved to two to the right. Let's put our transformation in. So I'll just type the transformation here on the bottom here. So there's only one transformation. There's no number in the front, so there's no vertical stretch or vertical compression or reflection. So our transformation for this one is, this time it's horizontal translation. Okay, and we go two, it went to the right, two, right. So you have to put the direction. So it went horizontal, horizontal translation, two, right. And I think I did talk about this in the transformations here. Okay, horizontal translation, and it's either going to go right or left. Okay, so this one went two to the right. So horizontal translation, two right. I'm going to do the next video for the next two graphs.